Crayon Domus. People call Romanes, they go the house. It, it says Romans go home. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Hector! Juventus Stultorum. Magister. In pace requiescata. Come on, boys. We don't want any trouble in here, not in any language. Us Latin doll. This is Latin. Thomas? Nominative? Go home. This is motion to wars, isn't it, boy? Date him! Oh, date him! Date She's fluent in French, Italian, Russian, Latin. Who speaks Latin? No one speaks Latin. No it's a dead Latin. language. No language can be dead if it lives in your heart. Quite true. Do you even speak Latin? Well, I guess suit me when stuck is. Which means... Wait, what? Understand? Yes, sir. Now, right out under time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hail Caesar, sir. Hail Caesar. You don't speak Latin? Well, that's something we shall have to remedy, isn't it? Thinking about a change that we're gonna make. Ah, another change to the film. I think that uh, the beauty of filmmaking is that each person that joins this class has a very unique story that they that they want to tell. The people that I met freshman year came from groups of people in middle school that I never saw myself fitting in with or getting along with. And I enjoy spending time with them every class over two years later. Going into freshman year can be scary, especially if you're moving away from a friend group. Um, Almaro High School is a huge school compared to others, and you don't want to go through it alone. And the film community is a group that I've come to love. I signed up for this class because I was interested in film, and now in my third year of taking this class, I've come to love producing, editing, and analyzing films because I understand the work and different backgrounds needed to create great films. Even if you have no interest in film, I still suggest taking this class because it has a way of grabbing you and teaching you to love being a filmmaker. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Eve. This is Emma. And here's what's happening at A-Town today. Do you know a teacher who has demonstrated excellence in teaching and community involvement? If so, consider nominating them for the 2021-2022 Golden Apple Award by Monday, January 24th. The link will be at the bottom of this video. Each year, the Golden Apple Awards honor one teacher from every public and private school in the Albemarle County and Charlottesville City. In addition to receiving a Golden Apple, every Golden Apple Award recipient will earn $500 that can be used for classroom materials or their own professional development. Award recipients will be announced in May. Conoce a un maestro que haya demostrado excelencia en la esencia y participación comunitaria. Si es así, considere mo nominarlos para el premio Golden Apple 2021-2022 antes del lunes 24 de enero. En el, en el enlace estará en la parte inferior de este video. Cada uno los premios Golden Apple honran a un maestro de cada escuela pública y privada en el condado de Albemarle y la ciudad de Charlottesville. Además de recibir una, una manzana dorada, cada ganador del premio Manzana Dorada obtendrá una sub, subvención de 500 dólares que puede usarse para materiales de clase o para su propio desarrollo profesional. Los ganadores de los premios se anunciarán en mayo. Now for sports news. The varsity girls basketball team defeated Louisa County last night by a score of 38 to 36. Lauren Grady led the team to 11 points and Amaya Pendleton scored 8. El equipo universitario de baloncesto femenino derrotó anoche al condado de Luciana con un marcador de 38 a 36. 
Lauren Grandi llevó el, al equipo a 11 puntos y Amia Pendleton anotó 8. The boys basketball team also defeated Louisa by a score of 80 to 51. Lamari Parler led to scoring 15 points and Jason Green added 13. Tavion Wilson added 8 points and 10 rebounds. El equipo de baloncesto masculino también derrotó a, a Lucian por marcador de 80 a 51. Mari Parler lideró a anotar 15 puntos y Jason Brain agregó 13. Tavion Wilson agregó 8 puntos y 10, y 10 rebotes. Both teams will be back in action Friday against Charlottesville. The girls will be at home and the boys will be on the road. Ambos equipos volverán a la acción el viernes contra Charlottesville. Las chicas estarán en casa y los chicos estarán de viaje. The Patriots swim and dive teams play second overall in the Ben Hare Invitational Swim Meet. Los, los equipos Patriot de natación y buceo qued quedaron en segundo lugar en la competencia de natación Ben Hare Invitational. Tonight, the wrestling team will travel to Goochland for a Jefferson District match involving multiple schools. And the academic team will flex their muscles in a Scholastic Bowl match also at Goochland time. Esta noche, el equipo de lucha libre viajará a Goochland para un partido del distrito de Jefferson en, en el que participarán varias escuelas. Y el equipo académico flexionará sus músculos en un partido de bolos escolares también en Goochland High. That's all for now. Have a wonderful Wednesday.